Hi friends! Today we are going to draw a very, very big tree and we will see the process to draw something that appears very big and how it is made. For this we will draw in aerial perspective. This is one, one of the types of perspective to achieve deepness and sensation of reality in our drawings. First, as ever, as always, sorry, uh, we will we'll, we'll draw the principal shapes, the big shapes of our drawing and then when we are pleased with the result and with the drawing, we will uh, draw and shade the details. As, I, as you see, this video is a slightly different from others because I will show you the entire, the entire process in real, uh, in real speed as I draw it because I thought that many times uh, when we accelerate the drawings you lose some details and in this type as you can uh, jump uh, as many times as you wish in YouTube from one part to the other part of your videos you don't, don't need to see all all the video or you don't need to see and you, will, you can see it as many times as you need so I'll put you all harness of my pencils and all materials I'm using on screen okay as you see this is a 4B because now is when I made lines definitive okay but at this stage I will not erase not I will not erase uh, so, any anything because because many of the lines that I draw before with the HP pencil I'll blend them with the blending stamp okay I only use in this drawing the eraser to recover to recover lights and to make uh, shapes but not to erase lines in this in this case I will do it in this way so you can see it I know that this is a very long tutorial very very long video and I hope you like it okay now as you see I'm refining refining the shapes step by step little by little refining the drawing this is all, all drawings, all artistic drawings are made in, the sa in, this, in this way. Uh, you make big shapes and then you refine them as much as you wish. Because you are your, uh, the master of your drawings. The artist always rules on its, uh, uh, its works. Okay? Now, the real secret of this drawing, the trick of this drawing, is to make that one tree that we draw in an A4 paper, a very small paper, and the trick is to make this tree appear bigger than it is, really big. You don't need to draw a, a tree in a very large paper to make it appear bigger, large, giant, okay? With just a few tricks, you will make everything in your drawings appear bigger or smaller. And it is very easy, and you will see now in, in this video. I will not hide anything to you, you can see it, okay? Now, let's refine this part of the tree leaves and branches okay and it will continue drawing silently <laughs> but uh, I'll speak again when we go and we get to the point 
with the secret of the drawing, okay? The secret of the aerial perspective. One thing, one thing before the secret, the thing uh, about uh, shading. In this case, I'm I will uh, blend all this, all this graphite, okay, with a blending stamp, as you as I said before. To get the best results, you must not press too hard your pencils against the paper, and it is uh, better if you make in this case, in this case for this effect lines parallel lines in the same direction but when you wish some other um, textures like in the in the trunk you may may change may change directions of your pencil strokes and so you will get uh, all textures and you may appear uh, make that in your drawing appear different materials even when you are drawing everything with the same material graphite okay now some shadows here okay let's continue
Now we'll take our blending stamp in this way. Okay. And softly and step by step, we will blend all shadows that we, we wish appear softer. Because when we blend something, it appears softer. But the trick is after do this, you recover lights with your erasers and give more details with your uh, pencils. Okay? You may do it in this way. Or you may develop another another way to do it. Okay. Blending stamps are very very useful tools. They, they you may do everything with them and are very cheap. But if you don't have any of this in your house, just take a paper towel and put it around your finger and use your finger with the paper. Uh, to blend everything but as fingers are bigger than the point of this blending stamp it will be more difficult to blend okay but not impossible and it is a very good way to do it okay let's continue This is another very useful tool when you draw something because it is an, just an eraser but in very pointed uh, very pointed and this is a precision precision eraser okay and it is just uh, it works just like a mechanical pencil okay but uh, instead lead with of the pencil you have erase eraser an eraser lead and it is very good as you see to uh, define and refine line lights and the shapes of the lights okay this is a very very useful tool if you can afford one of these i i advise you to, to buy one because they are very very useful okay Now, this is another very, very, very important part of every drawing. When we have our big shapes and shadows, etc., we need to make textures and refine details. And for this, and for this, and for unreinforced shadows. And for this, this pencil, a 2H pencil, may be your, be your best friend. Don't press too hard. And don't shape and don't sharp it too, too much because it has a very very hard point and very hard lead. And if you press too much your pa paper, it may damage your paper. So be very careful with this pencil. But as you see, when I draw over a shadow, a shadow place in this drawing, with this pencil, this shadows becomes darker. But if I draw over a white part of the paper, I make a very, very light shadow. Okay? And it is very beautiful to make details. Okay, softly.
And now, the biggest secret I'll share with you in this drawing, in this tutorial. As you see, I'm drawing a very, very tiny uh, person, in this case a woman, only the shape, in this case only the shape. Why I'm doing it? Because we all, our subconscious, our mind, uh, recognize immediately the size of a, of a person, the size of the body. And when we see a body, a, pe a people, a person, a woman, in this drawing, sorry, <laughs> or in every drawing, we automatically uh, assume the size of the other things that are, that are around them. So, if we draw two very tiny people, like in this way, very tiny shapes, we'll see the tree bigger, but very, very bigger. On the other, uh, uh, on the contrary, if we draw two people bigger than the tree, the tree will appear like a, a little tree, a Japanese tree. I don't really know. A bonsai, like a bonsai. Okay, if you draw bigger people, uh, smaller appear everything around them. If you draw small people, tiny people, you will see them, and you will see everything around them bigger. This is a secret. This is useful. You may use two, uh, uh, for instance, uh, cars. You may draw a car. You may draw anything that you, uh, that everyone may recognize, may know what it is and what it is the regular, normal size that it has. You see, the tree now appears so big, so big, and it is an H for A4 paper. It is magic, it's magic, and easy, and very easy. You may do it, okay? Now, let's continue drawing details. And you'll see how beautiful you may draw this. I encourage you to try this trick, to try this this way of draw something in your paper. Draw people, tiny people, around everything, and you'll see it bigger. Okay, let's continue.
the final steps of our drawing that are reinforced details and shadows and lights. In this case, the dark parts of this tree and of the drawing, we will reinforce them with an 8, 8B pencil. 8B pencil. They are very dark and give very dark shadows and are very beautiful tools to draw. Okay. Use, unify this part of the tree with the floor, giving it shadow and so reality. It is easy, it is beautiful. I really love this to draw, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry, but I, I, I love to draw. Okay, reinforce shadows in these two people. They are not tiny, and we know. It's, it's the tree that is bigger. A very far, very far tree with very few details, because if you draw that tree with too much details, it appears closest to us. So, blend and, do, and don't draw this tree with too much details, okay? This is aerial, aerial perspective. Everything that is far from us appears blurred, appears less crisp, okay? And you may translate it to your drawings and paintings, drawing or painting, everything that is far, a little blurred less crisp and, le and less defined. And when something it is in the shadow, we must draw it or paint it with less detail too, because everything that is in the shadow, we don't see it with in full detail. It is important too. But what it is on the light, oh, 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 non direct light, you must draw it with a full detail, with full details and crisp. I hope you liked this video and if you have not done before, just subscribe and so you will know when I upload a new video and smash like button if you like it. <laughs> so, and hope you see you next week with a new a new tutorial, a new video. If you, if you have some uh, something you wish I draw, put me put me in the comment lines. And if I know how to draw it, I'll draw for you. Okay, in a tutorial. Even my hand appears bigger <laughs> when it, I put it side by side with these people. <laughs> okay, be very happy, draw a lot, and see you next week. Bye! We meant to be in the great outdoors.